That was Mike Schuster with Thy Kingdom Come here on AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. And our scripture for today, I love this scripture, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. This is what Paul says to Timothy, I urge you then, first of all, that petition, prayer, intercession, and thanksgiving made for all the people, for kings and all those who live in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So here is the Apostle Paul, and he's encouraging everyone. He says, first of all, he says, make sure that you pray. And when you pray, Make these petitions. Petition basically means to bring a request before the Lord. He says, Lord, this is what the, we need to pray to the Lord today. First of all, let's make sure that our prayers are designed to do something. And that would be for intercession. Now, intercession is a great concept because you get to pray for someone else. And he says, and when you are praying with some, for someone else, he says, do it with thanksgiving. And he says, do it on behalf of all the people. Don't just pray for yourself. Don't just pray for your own selfish needs. But understand that you are called to stand in the gap, to pray one for another, to pray for others. Others. In fact, it's an incredible privilege to be able to pray for someone else. He says, now these are the type of people that you need to pray for, for, for the kings and all those in authority. We need to pray for our prime minister. We need to pray as well for our premier, for the mayors of our communities, and for the officials as well. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pray for the first responders and for those that are sitting and doing the work on the front line. Pray for them. Pray for wisdom. Pray that they would execute their offices with understanding, with righteousness, and as well with authority based in the Lord. He says, and the whole reason is that we may live quiet and peaceful lives. We need to pray that God would enable those who are sitting over us, who've been given that authority that they would be able to execute their responsibilities with righteousness and with as well uh, law and justice. Why? Because we can live quiet and peaceful lives in godliness and holiness. Now I want you to notice something here. We're called first of all to pray. Secondly, we are to pray for those in authority over us so that we may have four things in our lives. What are those four things? To live peaceful, quiet lives with godliness and holiness. That's what God has called us to do. So that's one of the wonderful responsibilities of prayer, that you and I would pray, that we would have petitions, prayers, intercessors, and also as well have an attitude of gratitude with thanksgiving. Do it on behalf of all people, but especially for those who are in authority over us, that we may live those quiet and peaceful lives, that we would be able to follow the Lord in two manners, that's godliness and holiness. That's a wonderful thing to do. So why don't you do that today? That's why Peter, That's why uh, Paul said to Timothy, he says, I urge you then, first of all, with petitions and prayer, intercession and thanksgiving made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live quiet and peaceful lives in godliness and and holiness. So let's do that today. AM 930 The Light is Edmonton's Positive Talk.